Governor Hyman will be declaring a state of disaster today after serving tornado and storm damage across the state. He surveyed Beaver Crossing, Cordova, and the hardest hit, Sutton. News 5's Nathan Gogo is live in Sutton tonight. Nathan, what's it like down there tonight? Yesterday, Katie and Colin, it was a, the scene was a scene of chaos as a tornado moved through the town of Sutton. Crews have been out here all day repairing the business district here in Sutton. People have been sifting through the damage, and now crews, Heinemann and other crews agencies across the state have been pitching in. Sutton, right now, you're going to want to be in your interior room, in your safe spot right now. Around 4.15 p.m. yesterday, it hit. You could not see anything. It was completely just black and the rain was so heavy and there was just, you could feel the pressure in the basement. I mean, it felt just pressure. Sutton, a town of around 1,500, sustained extensive damage. Three homes were destroyed and there was significant damage to the downtown area. When we looked outside, um, the neighbor's trampoline was demolished. Our neighbor across the street um, had her garage literally lifted up and set on top of her camper. We had trees everywhere. Clay County Emergency Manager Lauren Uden knew the storm was going to be bad. He made sure to give the town ample warning. The skies out there were just of the knowledge that it was, was going to hit really hard somewhere and really bad. And so we really blew the sirens early in all the communities that it was in the path of. And that early warning allowed residents to take shelter. There was only one minor injury after five confirmed tornado reports in Clay County. The sirens went off and that's when we decided we should go to the basement. Governor Heineman walked through the downtown area and talked to Sutton residents and emergency responders. What we're seeing in downtown Sutton got hit really hard. Heineman says these tough times can bring people together. Disasters like this bring Nebraskans out, out to help their friends and neighbors. It's Nebraska at its best. I'm very, very proud of our citizens. But residents with damage to their homes are still picking up the pieces. Not sure where they are going to go from here. Total chaos, just destruction. I don't even know where to start cleaning up. I mean, the ceiling's down, skylights are out, we have power poles busted, light poles busted. It's a disaster. And as you can imagine, it has been a very long day. For many people here in Sutton, currently, we have uh, power outages over a couple thousand people without power here in the surrounding areas in Sutton. The Clay County Emergency Manager says that they're trying to restore power and they're hoping to do it by tomorrow. I'm here live in Sutton. Katie and Colin, back to you. Thank you, Nathan. Obviously, without the power, we just got word that Sutton Public Schools and Sutton Christian Schools, once again tomorrow, no school. And they say if they don't have school on Wednesday or Thursday, they have to look into perhaps making up those days at this point of the year. All right. Thank you.